Hi, it's Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at making dot plots and box and whisker graphs using NZ Graffer. So what we want to do is we want to open up our NZ Graffer here and you can just type in graffer.nz and we, so the default data set comes up here and this is the baby's data set up the top. So if I click on this little triangle here, there's a whole bunch of data sets. Anything with TS stands for time series and these other data sets at the top are multivariate data sets. So I'm going to go to the Kiwi data set to start with. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom here where it says graph type. And I'm going to choose a dot plot and box and whisker graph. So now I need to remember that I, for a comparison investigation, I need one numeric and one categorical. And that's got a reminder down there for us. So for a numeric, I'm going to choose the weight of the Kiwi birds, and for the categorical, I'm going to choose the gender. So that gives me a standard dot plot. Now there's a few things, little tricks that are useful because some things bother people, other things don't. For some people, they see these lines here and they go, oh, they're all staggered. It's kind of like leaning on an angle. And part of that's because of the accuracy of the dot. It's trying to measurements of 1.824 is trying to measure, put that as close to exact as it can on the graph. But that kind of lean, it bothers some people. So if I come down this middle part here, there's an option there called stack dots. And if I click on that, that just lines them all up and then um, tidies them up. So for some people, that's a useful thing to be able to do. Then another thing, if I go right back to the top, we want to add on the summary statistics. And you can either add on a box plot, which that puts the box plot over the data itself, or you can do the high box plot, which does the box plot above the dot plot. Now personally, I'm going to do the high box plot, um, because one of the other things that I want to do um, is add my shape outline. So this is a useful one for when we're looking at um, the features, analysing the features. So that's now drawn the shape outline over the top. I can also increase my point size, um, which sometimes that's useful if I want to actually see the data a bit more clearly. And so you can see how that enlarged it and you can find a good balance for what you like. Then I'm going to come to where it's got the title and I'm going to give it a title and say Kiwi Bird Investigation. And I've got the weight there is my numeric and gender is the categorical. So now I'm just going to click on this update graph there. And now that's got the Kiwi Bird investigation up the top there as the label. So what I can do now is I can right click anywhere over the graph and I can select the copy image. And what I can now do is, is I can open up a blank word document and paste that into a blank word document. Um, so let me just pull this across and so I can paste that. So I just did control V and there's my graph. So there's another little trick that is quite a useful one. Um, I'm going to, in this case, take off the shape outline. I'm going to come down to where it's got the box with no outliers. So what this does is it's drawn the graph over the top of the data and you can see I've got the two box and whisker graphs. Now notice particularly with the female one there is a difference. The one, the high box plot, you can see here the whisker goes all the way to the very last data point which is for females it's the low point of 1.644 kilos. But then now you can see that the whisk box and whisker graph that I added, the no outliers, the whisker here stops at the starter point here, 1.905 kilograms. And so what this is doing is it's telling me that this point here is an outlier. The whiskers are going up to the level that would be expected in the amount of variation that we would normally expect. And this outlier is beyond the amount of variation we expect. Equally, up the top here, there's a female up here who weighs a lot more than we expected. So 4.143 kilos, they weigh more than would be expected from the normal amount of variation in the original data. And so that's quite a useful one to be able to identify any outliers. So again, I can right click on that, 
copy that and paste that into my Word document here. Um, and I can now save that and print that out and anything else I might need to do with it. So thanks very much for watching.